Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving magnetic fields. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous theory videos covering magnetic field patterns and charged particles in a magnetic field, as watching these videos will help you understand what we do in this video. So let's get going. Question 1 says, in which direction will the negatively charged particle move when it enters the magnetic field in each case? So in part A, we've got an electron moving to the right, where we've got a magnetic field directed into the page, and that's shown by the crosses here. So if we use the right hand rule, our index finger, which represents the magnetic field direction, remember, should be pointing into the page or screen, and then your second finger, i.e. your middle finger, should be pointing to the right. So if you turn your hand over, you should have that your thumb is pointing towards the bottom of the page or screen. So we have towards the bottom of the page in this case. And in part B, you'll see the magnetic field this time is directed out of the page as shown by the dot within the circle, and our electron is moving up the way this time. So this time, if we take our index finger, i.e. your first finger, and point that away out of the page or screen. Then you take your middle finger, which represent the current, i.e. the direction of the electron initially, and that should be going up the way. So with your index finger pointing out of the page or screen and your middle finger pointing up, you should have that your thumb is pointing to the left. So the force exerted on the electron in this case is to the left. Question two says, in which direction will the positively charged particle move when it enters the magnetic field in each case? So in part A, we've got a positively charged particle this time, entering the region of magnetic field which is directed into the page, shown by the crosses. Remember, for positively charged particles, we want to use the right hand rule again, but then we need to reverse or flip the direction at the end. So if we take our first finger, our index finger, and point it in towards the page or the screen, then take your middle finger, which is going to point to the right, in the direction that the charge is moving initially, then you'll see that the thumb points downwards. But remember, this is a positively charged particle, not a negatively charged particle, so we need to reverse our direction of the force. So that means our thumb is going to be pointing upwards, which means the positively charged particle will move upwards. So we can say towards the top of the page or screen. And in part B, we've got the magnetic field directed out of the page or screen this time, shown by the dot within the circle, and our positively charged particle is moving up the way. So again, if we take our first finger, our index finger, and point this out of the page or screen, then take your middle finger and point this upwards in the direction that the positive charge is moving initially, then you see the thumb points to the left, just like it did in question one. However, remember we're using a positively charged particle this time, not a negatively charged particle, so we need to reverse the direction. So that means instead of moving to the left, the particle will have a force exerted to the right. Question 3 says a charged particle is travelling with a constant velocity. It enters a region of uniform magnetic field and follows the path shown in the diagram. So here we've got our uniform magnetic field directed into the page shown by the crosses and our charged particle comes in from the left, curves and then goes back the way it came. And it says determine whether the particle is positively or negatively charged. Well what we want to do here is use our right hand rule at various points along this curve and see if it makes sense for a negatively charged particle. Because if we work out the force at different points along the path and we see that it works for the right hand rule then that means the particle will be negatively charged. But if we use the right hand rule and the direction of the force should be in the opposite direction to what we get then that would mean that the particle is positively charged. So let's have a think about this. So at this point you can see that the charged particle is bending down the way so that means there must be a force exerted down the way. So what I'm going to do is firstly take my index finger, my first finger, and point that into the page or screen, which is the magnetic field direction, because we've got the crosses there. Then what I'm going to do is take my thumb and point that downwards, which is the direction of the force on the particle at this point, because it's curving downwards. So with my first finger into the page or screen and my thumb pointing downwards, you should have that your middle finger points to the right or along at a tangent to the point of the curve that we're talking about. And remember that represents the direction that the charged particle is moving in. So that seems to make sense at this point. When we get to this point here along the path, we could see that it's bending towards the left. So we have a force exerted to the left. So let's think about it at this point. If we point our first finger into the page or screen, that's our magnetic field direction again, and we have our thumb pointing to the left this time, then you should have your middle finger pointing down the way, which makes sense because that's the direction that the charged particle is moving in. So it seems that using the right hand rule seems to make sense for the direction of this charged particle, which means means it must be negatively charged because if we were getting the opposite for the direction of the forces it would be positively charged. So that means we can say that using the right hand rule at various points along the curved path suggests a negatively charged particle. Lastly, question 4 says an electron enters a region of magnetic field as shown. Here we've got the magnetic field directed into the page shown by the crosses 
and we've got the electron moving in from the left. It then says in part A, what is the direction of the force exerted by the magnetic field on the electron as it enters the field? Well, using our right hand rule, we can point our index finger, our first finger, into the page or screen. We can then take our middle finger and point it to the right because that's the direction that the electron is moving in to begin with and you should have that your thumb is pointing downwards. So that means the force exerted on the electron will be downwards towards the bottom of the page or screen. So we have towards the bottom of the page there. In part B it says sketch the path of the electron in the magnetic field. Well if the force exerted on it is towards the bottom of the page then the electron is going to come in and curve down the way. So it would look something like this. And lastly, part C says if the electron was replaced by an alpha particle, what would be the direction of the force? Well, remember that alpha particles are positively charged, so the force would be in the opposite direction to part A, i.e. towards the top of the page. And that's because, remember, the thumb direction would need to be reversed if the particle was positively charged instead. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.